welcome to my team. Here you'll experience the world of Formula One, not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's create your driver. Now, let's focus on your driver's look. Great, now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Nice! Now, some kind of income stream is critical, so we need to sign a primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Fantastic! Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So, Let's sign a power unit supplier now. We need both performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. These are the drivers available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding to hire. Drivers earn acclaim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough acclaim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more acclaim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, 
the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap time. Focus represents the driver's current form and state of mind. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Looks like we can afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. Let's create the livery we'll be running this season. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. Last but not least, we need to consider our brand our badge and team colors. Great, that's everything we need. You can go back and edit anything we've done so far, and we'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to the Team HQ. Hello folks, and welcome to this, a very special edition of Paddock Pass. As you can see, there's no pit lane behind me, and as you can hear, no roar of engines, and that's because they've set me free from the F1 paddock to escape here to the countryside and to the headquarters of Formula One's newest team. Now, it's not every day we get to pull back the curtain and look behind the scenes at an F1 team, rarer still, that we get to talk not only to the team owner, but also the team's lead driver. But what makes this place extra special is that the owner and lead driver are one and the same person. Now, it's been an interesting 12 months, and we all know a number of the regulation changes which were due to come into effect this year have been delayed until next. Some, though, are still seeing the light of day, amongst them the all-important budget cap, which gives some of the smaller teams, a little further down the order, potentially the opportunity to compete with the bigger teams. Good for them, but great for us as viewers. But what does our new team owner think about these new rules? Do they see them as a challenge, a hurdle that needs to be overcome? Perhaps they see them as an opportunity to disrupt the status quo, a chance to come out swinging and to carve their name into Formula One history. Well, I had the opportunity to ask them these very questions just earlier today. And here's what they had to say. Well, first of all, thanks so much for inviting us here today. It's been wonderful to see behind the scenes. Uh, as you might expect, I've got about a million questions, so let's jump straight in. It's been a long time since we last saw a team owner take their own car onto the track, and the sport's changed enormously in the intervening years. How are you going to handle the responsibilities of both managing and driving for a Formula One team?
let's talk about your teammate. Now, it's clear they're excited to have signed with you, but tell me, what is it that you think they bring to the team? So you've obviously been putting a lot of work into the car. I know it's early days, but how do you expect it to feel out there? Most of the other teams can boast years of experience in Formula One. Where do you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains you need to put you within reach of the other cars? Ultimately, your success this season is going to come down to whether you can take positions from the other drivers. What is it about your car that's going to give you that edge in those battles? And finally, with so many specialist departments working together here at your headquarters, and with such an important deadline coming up, who's getting that coveted teacher's gold star? Which group do you feel the most proud of right now? Well, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, been wonderful to get an insight from you and, of course, to see around the headquarters. Thank you for today. Really appreciate it. And thank you all at home for watching as well. We'll see you very soon. This is where you can view our current facilities and the effects they are having on the business. You can also invest some of our cash into upgrades for these facilities. It's important to use the time between races to the fullest extent. That's where these activities come in. Manage everyone's time as efficiently as possible to maximize the team's performance. Hey boss, I think we could better manage our time by organizing some team activities. Hello, I see you've found the data center. My name is Pierre. I'm your man for all issues of R&D, so get used to hearing a lot from me. Your workstation should be all set up and good to go. But if you run into any issues, be sure to give me a shout. 